Hello Twisters, Cody Williams here again. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make the infamous alien holding ray gun hitchhiker hat. It's very popular, I'm sure everyone has seen it. I'll show you how it's done. It's really great when you're an intermediate twister because it looks really good, especially with the imprinted balloon. I don't know why, but imprinted balloons make you look that much better. Can't figure it out. Um, yeah, it's quick, simple, and looks like it's difficult. Let me show it's done. I'm um, showing the ray gun first. It's the one I like to use. I think I learned it from your balloon man, Mr. John Fudge. I think he showed it to me in a balloon distractions training video years ago. Years ago. Anyways, so you're going to blow it up with about five finger nipple. Tie it off. Make a four finger bubble, followed by a one inch bubble, and do it for staff. Then you're make a four finger loop twist, like so, followed by a two finger bubble. I'll another four finger loop twist. Going kind of fast because my computer's doing that restart thing again where it keeps freezing my bloody webcam halfway through the video. So forgive me. Now you have these loops big enough because you want to send this balloon back through them. So go to the ones closest to the twist, this is the end of the balloon, push it through the center. Uh oh, I love the irony actually, as soon as I say it, it froze. Um, you're here, hopefully, <laughs> and send this balloon through the first one, through the middle. But stop when it curves because you don't want to go all the way through. Now you're going to send this one through here again, like so, leaving this front end. And you're going to make, you could leave it like so and have this being like the laser in the front, but I like to make a little ball and kind of do that poodle tail maneuver where you make a ball and force it to here. And it does that. I like this way better. And you have the one balloon ray gun. Alone, it works pretty well. If you're in a hurry, give the kid. Guilty. Did it today. The kid. He wanted a gun. I made him that. It's kind of simple. I was in a hurry. So, next, you're going to take the two lime green. Oh, it takes three balloons, by the way. I'm sorry. I end up around. Or, whatever you do to the face, you don't have their printed balloons. Anyways, you're going to blow each of them up. Um, what is it? Six pumps and a Qualtex pump, or each with a six finger nipple. Like so. Tie them together. If you tie them all separately because you have a pump, still tie them together and you're done. This works really well. Make a one inch bubble out of each of them at the same time, like so. And you're going to split twist. So you're going to send these balloons through the center, like so. And then twist it. You can kind of do your twists. Now, for the head size, you can either go to the kid and measure it if you want to avoid putting your hands on any children. Pull it in your hands, bring it down your elbow, and that measures one cubit. And that's actually the size of your hats. So twist it off. That's generally the size of most person's heads. And if it's a kid, if you have a kid, it still fits on the pinch of the sides. And if you're an adult, it's the right size. They fit me. So, anyways, now you're gonna make a shoulder blades. This is his hands and his arms. So make a one of bubble out of both of them. You know, the whole time you're making it as if it's one balloon, and that's why it's so fast to do. Because it looks complicated. It looks like you did a lot of time to make it, but it, you can do it really fast. Do the same both at the same time. So it's really as long as a one balloon animal, but it's two balloons. So it makes it that bigger depth and same speed. Make a twist. So what you do is take the two and bring it down, just like a normal balloon, and grab two of them together and twist it. And makes two ear twists. It's very simple. Um, make a four finger body, followed by a one double, and ear twist it. Like so. Now I see a lot of people that just do a pinch twist, excuse me, a pinch twist and then like have legs like that, and that's it. Um, it's lazy and looks terrible. And I know who does it. I know you. Anyways, make a four finger bubble. A one bubble. You twist it. Like so. Make another four finger bubble. A one inch bubble. You twist it. So you have these two. You could do it one leg the whole way through, but I like it this way. Squeeze the air down. Video froze again. So, you have it here now. So you want to squeeze the air down. So you have four bubble ear twist, four finger bubble ear twist, and then make a little two feet last. So squeeze the air down so it fills all in, and you're gonna bring it up halfway or so, and you're gonna make it till you twist off that. You know that as I've shown you before in other videos. Or you, obviously, if you're a balloon artist, you know how to do that. If not, I'll make some easier videos, I'm sorry. Uh, I like to lock it by pushing it through, a little roll through twist, like so. And if you don't like that way, you can just do a, a one-fold at the very end. And then do, uh, ugh, sorry. Then do a loop twist. It's about two fingers. Part of this room you have. And 
gives us a little green man body. And that's why I just like having the kneecaps and legs better, because it just looks better than that really long stakes coming down. I think it's more detail and it's worth the extra 20 seconds you put in doing that versus pinch twisting it. Um, next, you're going to, you know the ray gun at the very end, I like to do that. So I'm going to show you, of course, okay, you have the imprinted balloons. If you don't have an imprinted balloon, take take a lime green 260 or whatever color you're using and make a fold, like loop twist, twist it, lock it, tie it off, attach that loop twist as a head, froze again. This is why I quit making twirls before, and I thought it was better, but it's not. So to make a head without the imprinted balloon, you use the same color green you're using. Blow it up just a little bit, doesn't matter. And you're gonna make, you know, a loop twist size of the head should be so about a three or four, about a hand's length again. Loop twist it, send the knot through the center, tie it off, break it, and then you can take a pen and if you have purple, it's nice it's somewhere. And you just. Draw on really nice. You just draw an alien face. How are you doing? You can draw a smile if you want. Doesn't matter. Yeah, there. And you have that, or you have that. Now, this will make you look like a pro. This will make you look like not as much pro. Don't know why I said earlier. Imprinted balloons make you look so much better. I can't figure it out. Even those cheesy Qualtex monkey faces. They're so quick, so much faster making a full face, and I feel like just as much. Twist on the head with your twists, like so. And now you're gonna add the ray gun. So, by the way, these ray guns are really cool. You can twist the bubble at the end, like just do a half turn, and you hold it, your pinky, you let it go, it fires. Do that, make the orange bubble, and attach it to his two hands. It's like the only bit I'm gonna have to actually edit. There we go. Now you have an alien holding a ray gun. Twist on your shoulders. Kind of like so in the back, like hitchhiker, chilling out. What oh, this one? Where's his face? There it is. Or you can first wear him sideways. This way. It's like a mirror. Like so. Either way, you have an alien holding a ray gun hat. Hmm. Starting to wear backwards. Now we have alien holding a ray gun. Oh yeah, you know that's gonna be in the front. You know it's gonna be in the front. See you later guys, have a great day today, better tomorrow. Happy twisting. Hope you're all having fun doing it. If not, why are you doing it?